Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Ryan. And I'm Katie, and today we'll be taking a look at Dice and Dragons by Golden Egg Games. Dice and Dragons is a dice rolling game for one to five players in which the players take on the role of dragon hunters out to slay dragons and get their loot. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these components. The game comes with a pad of dragon sheets for you to fight against. Each one shows its name and level, how many experience points and gold it'll give you at the end, and how many hit points you have to whittle down to defeat it. The sheet also shows the skills the dragon will use when it counterattacks and during the dragon fury phase, plus any special abilities and flavor text it might have. There are several dragons in the game to choose from, and each one is very different. Each player takes on a different class. There's wizard, warrior, cleric, ranger, and rogue as the options. These all have different starting stats and they have different abilities that they can use during their turn. Each of these abilities takes certain types of dice rolls to be able to enable these, and they do differing amounts of damage, and there's also things that give conditions. On a player's turn, they will roll their dice through the dice tower to try to see if they can make any of the combinations that they need. These can be allotted to any of the different types of abilities that they may have on their player sheet. You are allotted three re-rolls, so if you don't get what you need on your first turn, you also get two other shots at it. You can re-roll any of the dice that you got the first time. An attack is going to be successful if it matches all the dice required to make the hit. Any dragon dice left over go to the dragon. The dragon will counterattack with the highest skill he can afford to use. After you use a skill and deal the damage that it designates, you then place a class token over the skill to show that it's used up for the remainder of the round. And the players win when the dragon is defeated. Then they get to go to the village marketplace and spend their well-earned gold on different upgrades which they can use the next time they fight a dragon. Some of them will be instant upgrades and they'll be one and done, you use it and it's gone. And some of them will be durable and they'll be able to carry them over from session to session. Not only that, but if they gain enough experience points, they can add a new skill to their hero, to their character, and that is something they can try to fulfill with their dice in future sessions. As well, whenever they gain enough experience to level up, they gain more hit points, so they last longer. Which is going to come in handy because, as we've already mentioned, those dragons are going to get harder and harder as you go through. One of the things I really liked about the game was it was very easy to pick up and play. It wasn't overwhelming at all. The mechanic was a very familiar dice re-rolling mechanic that you'll see in games like King of Tokyo or Attack on Titan. So I was, you're able to get into it right away, but it adds some depth to it uh, with the campaign because you can tailor make your character. So when you're rolling, you're rolling for skills, the symbols of skills that you yourself have selected. And also the things you can buy at the marketplace help give you that customization again. And I, I thought that that was pretty cool. Yeah, there are some really interesting things like um, getting to work together, defeat the dragon. I always love cooperative games. Um, but I also like that each um, different class has different requirements and does different amounts of damage. Um, I do love the customization that he's talking about there, the, the chance to add those skills in as you go along. Also... Um, I think that it's really interesting that, you know, like it's it's kind of like a campaign almost where you've got these skills that are upgrading, but so are uh, the dragons that you're fighting. So you'll be running across dragons that do different types of things and um, could add some different surprises as you go along. 
Um, also think that this game, since it is so approachable and it is such a familiar mechanic, um, might feel a little, um, like, a, a little simple to some people, especially if you're used to some of these heavier games. But uh, it's also a great way to get people who are not into, like, the um, tabletop kind of, um, help me out. The tabletop world? Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, uh, you know, Pathfinder, D&D, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that this is kind of an intro into that because it's using a lot of the same type of stats and um, things like that. So um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, then yeah, I'd definitely give that a shot. So. Yeah, definitely. If this is interesting to you, check out Dice and Dragons from Golden Egg Games. Seven minutes. Okay.